everybody welcome to another exchange azure video my name is ed and in part three we joined our ex 2013a server to the domain in this part we're going to be installing the prerequisites um, i'm going to break this up into two parts um, the prerequisites number one and then number two being exchange 2013 installation but what I wanted to bring to your attention is um, there's a couple of things that obviously you need to be aware of. If you go to the Microsoft Docs page, you will notice that um, there's different prerequisites obviously for the different operating systems. Uh, I'm running Server 2012 R2. We can just double check that. Um, R2 data center. And you can see that obviously installing it on this version of Windows R2 and just normal 2012 these are the set of prerequisites so the first thing is you can see that you need to install the roles and features now you'll see that the one key thing we need is the RSAT tools so this is going to basically allow us to um, prepare the prepare AD and prepare the schema and then they say you need to install this in the following order so you can see that .NET for, uh, Framework 4.7.2 and if you read the important message here, it tells you that CU23 uh, requires it and we're going to be doing CU23. You can see that I've just finished downloading it. Then afterwards, uh, we're not going to be doing the Windows Management Framework because we're on R2 already. Once we've done this, the server has to reboot, then we'll come back and we'll do the unified messaging and then the two uh, Visual C++ um, components and reboot and then we'll move on to part B which will then basically be um, installation of Exchange. So just to give you an idea of what it looks like um, to install the PowerShell prerequisites I've already copied it to a text file. We're going to launch uh, Windows PowerShell here and we're basically going to run it and it'll basically start downloading information and installing it so i'm going to pause or stop the video now and come back because i have to reboot after this in any way before i can carry on with the next set so i'll see you in the next video and uh, apologies for the noise in the background thank you very much for watching